Luis Fortunio, a 1985 graduate of the law school, exemplifies the leadership skills for which our graduates are known. Returning to his native Puerto Rico to practice law after graduation, within a decade, he was appointed the territory's Secretary of Economic Development and Commerce, and within two decades was elected Puerto Rico's representative in the United States Congress. In 2008, he was elected governor of Puerto Rico and served in that office from 2009 to 2013. During that time, President Obama appointed him to the Council of Governors, a bipartisan commission that coordinates federal and state government programs. He also served as the chair of the Southern Governors Association and used his time in that post to work on increasing trade with Latin America. During his time in office, Puerto Rico experienced its first period of economic growth in six years. He's now a partner at Steptoe & Johnson in Washington, D.C., where he practices in both the Corporate Securities and Finance Group and the Government Affairs and Public Policy Group. He is one of many Virginia law graduates who've made a mark in high-profile elective office. Please join me in welcoming Governor Luis Fortuna. Good morning. Thank you, Dean Mahoney, uh, for your invitation and for that uh, kind introduction. And uh, certainly, it's, uh, I must say that I'm humbled and honored uh, to address you today. First, I'm humbled because after interviewing many uh, of the two L's last week on behalf of Stepto and Johnson just last week, I'm convinced that I would not have been admitted here today. Honored because where I sat at just 33 years ago, it was right there where you are today, I never envisioned that I would address the incoming class of one of the most prestigious law schools in the nation. Walking around this beautiful law school last week, uh, it hit me that I would be addressing a group of law students that are not only much brighter than I am, but that in the most cases, had, never, had not been born while I attended the law school here. <laughs> My wife and I have fond memories of Charlottesville and the law school. Actually, we got married right before uh, I commenced my third year in law school. At that time, she was a law student back in Puerto Rico and she took a year off. Uh, and uh, first semester, she worked at what used to be called back then the placement office. Now it's the careers office. Way back then, schedules uh, for students were prepared using index cards. And uh, if we wanted to check uh, the information on each law firm, we had to go through the binders that were accessible at the placement office during regular office hours. You must understand that this was a time where very few people had cell phones and they were the size of a uh, shoebox. <laughs> The internet had just been invented by Al Gore, <laughs> and Facebook was actually the booklet that contained each of the one else pictures so we will know who each other was. <laughs> I sat where you are today many years ago, wondering if I was going to make it through for the next three years. So if any of you are wondering that at this moment, you have not been alone. In my case, English was not my first language. I didn't know anyone here, and I was petrified that I would be called on in class the first week. Make no mistake, if you are here, you are clearly qualified to excel and graduate from this great law school. Many more were also qualified and were not accepted. Allow me, however, to make some suggestions that I call the 10 rules to survive law school. Hopefully, they'll make your life a lot easier. Rule number one, regularly read your cases and, your, and the reading material that is assigned to you that would facilitate the understanding of what actually goes on in class. <laughs> Attend class. <laughs> because many questions will be answered there and concepts made clearer in the class discussion. Take good notes. Actually, take good notes every day because they'll be handy when you are getting ready for your exams. 
stay close to your classmates, especially those in your small section. To this day, I stay in touch with many of them. I get business referrals from many of them, and I do the same uh, with them. Each member, uh, actually, and one of the great things that we, uh, you would probably do, is form a study group so that you will be responsible for uh, what occurs in, and during the course of one week in that class and take over also the reading materials and make sure that you have detailed summaries to share at the end of the semester with your classmates. Certainly follow the honor system. Actually, the honor system, I got to understand, is more than just being trustworthy in your academic life. It's a way of life that has been passed on generation to generation since Thomas Jefferson's days. Aim high. Actually, the school reputation and your skills will get you wherever you want to get to. However, there are tremendous opportunities. Uh, actually, the dean and I were talking earlier about the success that the law school has had in, uh, many, for many years with clerkships. Aim high, and you will get wherever you want to, whether it's uh, the clerkship, law school, or what have you. Get a well-rounded legal education. This first semester, uh, that's taken care of, and you were assigned to your class classes. But from then on, actually, you will have an opportunity to experiment and experience different areas of the law. Make sure you do so. Not just taking basic courses, but those areas that may be of particular interest to you uh, that may come handy later on. I remember vividly corporate law and many other courses that indeed uh, were uh, quite useful as I started practicing law after graduation. Fully utilize the resources that are available in this great law school. You have a superb faculty, the career's office, physical facility, unique location. Actually, I don't think there is a school anywhere in the country that is more beautiful than this one and a, certainly a strong alumni as well. And make full use of that, not just during the next three years, but after you graduate, of course. Visit Monticello. <laughs> go there now at the beginning of the, your three years here, and then go back before you leave. Every time I visit Monticello, I learn something about Thomas Jefferson and his life, and certainly, he had a lot to offer to the rest of us. And last but not least, play softball. <laughs> Do sports. Remain active. Get to know your peers in many, or many other ways. It will serve as a support system as you actually devote hundreds of hours to library time, reading, getting ready for your classes, and your examinations. And actually, eventually, they will be a potential source of business in both directions. Once you graduate from law school, you will all pursue a career, pursue a career, most of you in a law firm. That's exactly what I did after graduation and then after uh, public service. And it's just because I enjoy it. But many others will actually go to work for a nonprofit organization, cho choose public service, join a corporation, or actually, God knows, uh, may, may be setting up your own business. As a result of your three years here, you will sharpen your skills, especially your analytical skills. Once you do that, apply those skills to identify the facts of the problem before you, actually apply the laws and regulations that will uh, serve as a tool to address the problem and provide solutions to that problem. You'd be surprised how many non-UVA alumni I run into that instead of solving problems for their clients, they just complicate their lives. <laughs> Apply common sense to everything you do. I have often heard that common sense is the less common of our senses. <laughs> Sen certainly, after serving in public life for so many years, I can attest to that. 
and living in Washington, I doubled that one. <laughs> but be practical. Actually, your clients expect that, and you owe it to them. Work hard. Give your best every time. Show discipline and your legal skills. I've come to learn that those are the best marketing tools you'll ever have. Treat everyone with respect. Actually, if I may share a story, when I was an undergrad, I worked at, a, at the um, mail room in an office for two and a half years to make ends meet. Many years later, as the dean mentioned, I served as governor of Puerto Rico. I went back to that office. That office had transformed itself into the uh, governor's office. Most governors have an office in Washington. And I went straight to the mailroom, and there were still a couple of my former co-workers there. I'm glad I treated them with respect as they did with me, and I was very, actually, quite a, uh, an experience to get to meet again uh, after so many years. Persevere in building relationships with your peers, starting here. But certainly, once you work, whether it's at a law firm or what have you, uh, the Dean of Admissions mentioned earlier about a story about opposing, opposing counsel. Uh, it's important to build relationships not only with your clients, but with the opposing counsel as well. That goodwill will revert back tenfold. And he just mentioned a story, and I can share with you so many more. Regardless of what you do, integrity should lead your way and should be your guiding principle. And uh, certainly there is no other way to do whatever you do but the right way. Show commitment to your community. Actually, it is our obligation. We are all, in, in many ways, privileged to have had the education you have had and you're about to have. That privilege obligates us, all of us, to give back to our community in many ways as the guardians of the law. And you'll be surprised how many places and how many countries and cities actually do not have a rule of law as their guiding principle. And what happens as a result of that is that the quality of life for their constituents and their citizens suffers. Collaborate with your coworkers. Show loyalty and be accountable to each other. And you start here, but certainly once you go out there, it is very important to do that. By all means, have a balanced life. I, uh, at times, I was quite busy, as you may imagine, but I made it a point always to try to have dinner with my family every evening. Uh, it was a sacred time during the day. I would rather sacrifice and work during the wee hours of the night or the morning than sacrifice dinner time with my family. I encourage you to do the same. And if you have an opportunity, serve your nation, your state, or your community. I often say that I never had a job that paid so little and I enjoyed it so much. <laughs> However, if you have the privilege of serving that few have in our nation, may I suggest that you do it, first of all, with passion, with integrity, and for the right reasons. Nowadays, we see so many people that do it for the wrong reasons. Be proud of whatever you do. Always give in your best, and be bold in whatever you do. If I may, I want to join all of them in congratulating you for your achievements so far and for what you will achieve with the rest of your life. Welcome to the practice of law. Thank you.